liver. Anyway. Monster clash uh, on Sunday, mate. Uh, what about the atmosphere? Yeah, it was a big atmosphere. Um, more more south than Roosters day, so it was pretty pretty good on our end. Um, hopefully we can come out again this week. And in the middle there, mate, plenty of words exchange and uh, plenty of big big bodies banging into each other. Yeah, yeah I can definitely feel the, the rivalry. Um, uh, one thing I got told when I come here was to hate the roosters and uh, <laughs> you can definitely feel that. Um, so oh, it, pretty, it goes both ways. They, they, yeah. they hate us as much as we hate them, mate. Um, yeah. Look, uh, the way it went, uh, look, when you went down to a, a 11 men and, and you scored that try, um, that would have gave you a lot of confidence to go on and win that contest. Yeah, it just shows what we, what sort of footy team we are. Um, you know, we can score points from wherever we, we are on the field. So, um, you know, we got players like Cody and Latrell can create something out of nothing. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, Cody was um, outstanding. Coming his past selections, a um, couple of those grubbers. Yeah, he was on the big fella. Um, it was good for us. Um, you know, had lots of on this side, and um, yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> and Willa's uh, teasing and him Willa's, over uh, here. But... a bit of a twerk show here. <laughs> <laughs> In the background, we can't see that. But um, yeah, Cody Walker, you also gave him a beautiful pass when you had a takeover from Cookie right out in front and he got it out to, to uh, Isaiah who did the nice uh, dummy and scored in the corner, mate. Must be a good feeling. Yeah, it was good. Uh, you know, just having to score in two times, I think, uh, with 11 on the field. Um, yeah, like again, like I said before, it shows what we can do as a team. What sort of um, players we have around in our, in our team, so uh, it was good that we could play off that and you know, just the desire that the boys wanted to play and turn off for each other when we were down two, two players. And um, the atmosphere after the game where the South fans hung around and... Uh, yeah, that was pretty mad itself. It reminded me of when I was playing for Tonga, um, you know, coming going around, the, around um, to the fans and just the noise, especially when the child was talking, so uh, that was pretty... It was, a, it was a pretty, got the tingles and everything too, so it was pretty, pretty special. And how do you um, translate that game and settle things down and focus on the Sharks, mate? I think we're, we're pretty professional in that, in that sense. Um, we know uh, that game's gone now. Uh, we move forward and, you know, we um, build again for this week. It's a new week, new challenge and um, must, must win game too, so hopefully, um, no, I know we will. And we just need to build more confidence going into the weekend. And the Sharks are um, playing 90 odd minutes on the weekend against a really tough Cowboys team. Might take a little bit out of them. Yeah, it might. Um, but then again, the finals 40, everyone's desperate, and I know, you know they um, they'll be desperate to come in looking for the win too, just as much as we are. And it's important to get Big Tommy if we can somehow get a downgrade for the for the big fella. Um, it'd be nice to have him take the field. Yeah, he's going to be a big miss for ourselves, but um, you know we're confident. Um, what we can do as a team too, and even there's um, big shoes to fill in, but um, big harms is there to fill it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> an on the mate, uh, good, good luck against the Sharks, and thanks for joining us on Rubber Dash Fan TV. Cheers, mate, thank you. There go the Sox. Yeah, cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs>